Hello, welcome to my tutorials corner. This is Abhi and you are watching part 13 of WPF tutorials video series. In this video, we will learn to use the combo box events and dynamic data finding. On this screen, you can see there is a window and as part of it, it has two combo boxes. The first is country and the second is a state. In the left, you can see there is a country and there is a state table. So my agenda for this video is that I want to bind both the combo boxes from the database. I also want to bind the corresponding states when I will select a country from the country combo box. So let's go ahead and look at this with an example. First of all, I'm going to create the database. I have already written the SQL script. In case if you need it, I will have it on my blog. So let's go ahead and create the database. Let's execute this and let's use this. So the database is in use, you can see here. Look at here, here is the country table. It has ID and name column. The state table has ID, country ID and name. The country ID is the foreign key which is coming from the country's table. So let's select all the script and run it. Okay, so we are done now from the database side. Let's go ahead and open up the Visual Studio. I'm going to create a folder here. I will name it DL. This is my data access layer. And inside that, I am going to create the entity data model. I am going to use the entity data model to bind the combo boxes. So uh, let's select new item. And from the left, we select the data. And let's select the entity data model from the items. I am going to name it as my database name. WPF tutorials. Let's copy this from here and paste it here. Click on add. So Visual Studio came up with the wizard. Here it is asking to generate the database. I'm going to select this and click on next. On this screen, the wizard is asking to connection. I'm going to click on the new connection. Here I'm using the local host. So let's type local host. And select the database name. That is WPF tutorials. Let's test the connection. Connection succeed. Click OK. And now click next. So this will bring all the tables, views, stored procedures and functions name. I don't have any stored procedure or view or any other function. So right now I have only the tables that is countries and states table. I'm going to select them and click finish. So this would create an entity data model for me. Click yes. Let's go ahead and save this and close this entity data model. I have already written the XML script. Let's copy this and paste it into the window. Okay. In the right window, you can see there is a country combo box and state combo box as well. Now the second thing we have to do, let's go ahead and flip to code window. Here I am going to create a private function void fill countries. So this function will fill the countries into the countries combo box. Okay. And I'm going to use the 
WPF tutorials entities I will create the object of it so before that we will have to use the namespace that is WPF tutorials .tl. let's go ahead and use that here WPF tutorials .tl. so now we can create the object of the WPF tutorials entities Let's go ahead and create the object of it. WPF tutorials entities OBJ is equals to new WPF tutorials entities. The next thing we have to do is to get the list of countries. List country. LST is equals to OBJ dot countries dot to list. So this would return all the countries from the database. The next thing we have to do is to provide the item source to our combo box that is CMB country dot item source is equals to LST. Okay, the next thing we have to do is go to the XML window and now here we have to provide the selected value path this should get or set the path that is used to get the selected value from the selected item okay and also we have to provide the display member path so this should get or set a path to a value on the source object to serve as a visual representation of the object Okay, we have already provided the item source here. You can see get or set a collection used to generate the content. Okay, so let's go ahead and write display member path. So this will display the text in the combo box. That is what we have to provide here. That is let's select the values from here select star from countries so here you can see that name is the column which we have to show inside the country combo box so let's go ahead name it name so the next thing we have to do when we will use the selection changed event we have to get the corresponding ID of the displayed text okay so for this we will have to use the selected selected value path that is ID and we have to bind the selected value that is and now let's bind it okay so we are done now let's view the code and fill the countries here Let's go ahead and check this if everything is working fine. You can see the three countries here in the combo box. Okay, let's close this. The next thing we have to do is to create the selection changed event of the combo box. Okay, so let's go to the countries combo box and write selection changed and create the event handler for this let's move to the code window now I have to get the country ID when the selection change event occur so to handle that I am going to create a variable which should handle the country ID country ID 
and let's convert to int and what we have to convert that is the cmb country dot selected value so the selected value should return the id of the country okay similarly i am going to copy this code from here and i will paste it here this time we have to get the states so let's type here state and let's change this to states now we have to get all the states for the corresponding country okay so to do that let's type where and inside that i'm going to provide the country id x dot country id is equals to country id okay now let's change this to cmp states till now we have not provided the display member path or selected value for the states combo box so let's simply copy this from here and paste it inside the states combo box okay so all we are done now let's start this let's select a country from the country combo box and let's see you can see the states of the usa select uk and you can see the states of uk similarly select the india and you can see there are four states of india so we have seen the selected value selected value path display member path also we can use the selected index so this would get or set the index of the first item in the current selection or it should return the negative value if the selection is empty similarly the selected item will get or set the first item in the current selection or it will return the null if the selection is empty okay i have also used the selection changed event of the combo box if you want to know more about the events of combo box you can visit this link this is the msdn link where you can find all the information about other events of the combo box okay on this video you can see other resources here you can find my blog and code okay so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know your suggestions thanks for watching have a great day